Hey guys, DC here, and this is my review of Trivia Maker on the Apple TV. So I open up by just uh, showing you guys some of the app within the App Store. So we have the screenshots showing us, you know, how to set up a game and what it looks like. Now this isn't my normal review. I usually will review games. This is more of a, uh, I guess, setup for for a trivia uh, sort of assignment or activity that you would do with um, like a classroom, your students, your employees. So this is a little bit different. Uh, I am an educator, so you know I, I often kind of look at uh, things like uh, like this to uh, do with my employees or anyone who is. Um, you know, looking to uh, you know learn anything from my department uh, with my organization. So um, I've gone into the uh, the web-based application of Trivia Maker. I showed you in the beginning that uh, uh, that, that was really more of the uh, the application within the App Store, but uh, this is me going into the web version for this video and and recording. It was kind of easier to do it this way. But what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to look into the uh, the Buzz beta version of Trivia Maker. And uh, on this main screen here, we're gonna have it as a presenter. And you'll see here in a moment as I uh, open up some of my other screens, you'll see kind of um, the difference between what's gonna be presented to, to the audience, what will be uh, your controller as the sort of admin or the facilitator, and also what the uh, students uh, or your employees will see. So uh, right now I have uh, the presenter set up and what you guys are seeing in that left hand corner is what the uh, controller will be. So kind of what you're going to be using to control uh, for the, um, you know, for the assignment, the activity, whatever you want to call it. So we're, we're going in to put in the buttons. As you can see there, yeah, I'm putting in the same number as shown on the presenter. And now I've kind of resized some of the windows here so I can get everything uh, to fit on one screen. But you can see there uh, where it says in red controller, that's the controller that the facilitator will be looking at. And then uh, to the left there, that's the, uh, you know, the URL address and the number that your students will put in. So right now I'm gathering all my devices to be able to um, you know, have players join. So again, these are either students or employees, depending on what sort of environment you work in. So I have a, an iPad that I opened up on another screen here, and I've gone to the URL address. Uh, and again, that will uh, allow me to use the uh, iPad as a, as a buzzer for the activity here. And so you can see, uh, I get to choose my avatar, the color of the avatar, and then eventually it'll show me joining the game here. So now you can see that on the uh, controller and also on the uh, sort of presenter view, uh, the long green turtle has joined. Now on my iPhone, I am loading up the, the, the player, you know, another player, uh, you know, that will be, um, you know, joining in on the fun. And I'm not quite sure how many you know how many players you know this game is limited to right so this is something that's still fairly new the, the trivia maker app is is pretty new uh to the apple uh you know the the app store here also the uh you know google play store all right so we have our two players and you need at least two players before you can start so you saw once that second player joined it gave me the option to start on my controller uh, view Okay, and again, I've just set up some sort of demo questions here uh, within my organization. So you can see here, the first question is, how many urgent care locations does Brad Health have? That's on my controller view. It's also showing on the presenter view. And then once I tap on the iPad, it's gonna give me uh, uh, an option to activate the buzzers here in just a moment. But, so the question is posed. You can see on the presenter view that there is the uh, the two players and it's worth 100 points and no one has any points as of yet. 
All right, now back on my controller here, uh, I can now uh, can show the options for the choices and I can click to activate the buzzer and that gives the countdown on both the screens there, the iPhone and the iPad. So now they can tap their phone or their iPad and again, it tells them how many people buzzed in before them. It also lets them know if they're the first person to buzz. Now back on my controller, it gives me the fastest buzzers in the order there. So again, the Red Profession uh, avatar was the first one to buzz. Now on my controller, I can tap that Red Profession button and then it will give him an option to uh, choose between the multiple choice questions. So he's chosen A and that's correct in this scenario. And then you can see that the 100 points populated on the presenter view for uh, the Red Profession avatar. So the game goes that quickly where it populates. And then also on the other player screens, it shows the leaderboard and how many points everyone else has. So which city is Brad Health North located in? That's the next question here. And now it shows the, the, the choices. Once I click on activate buzzers there, uh, on the controller screen, it gives another countdown, and then the players are able to, to buzz in. Now, uh, with my screen recording or anything like that, I don't think everything was captured in the iPad. The iPad Mini is kind of a you know older version of you know an, an older Apple device, and um, the screen recording uh, may not be completely accurate there, so it's a little bit delayed there, it looks like. But nonetheless. Um, the long green turtle answered that correctly and got 100 points. And now here's our next question here. And again, this is an example of multiple choice. And again, we're in a, in a demo mode. Um, so it only allows me to do two uh, options for, for the multiple choice. Uh, if I were to purchase a full version of Trivia Maker, it will give you the, the four full options. And um, this is just one... I guess one uh, game option. So this is just the multiple choice question, but you also have a Jeopardy option that also has the buzzers incorporated with it right now. You know, so you have the, you have the Jeopardy, you have a, like a family feud option. And it, and it may be actually the family feud sort of setup that has the buzzers and not the Jeopardy, but I know that it's something they're kind of working on for all the different uh, game options right now. And again, I'm just kind of going through uh, the, the game here a little bit more and uh, this is just a cool little setup here for anyone uh, that is uh, in an educator type role like I am where you have an audience and you're trying to make learning fun and you're trying to you know engage the audience and make them want to learn this may be a, a cool app down the line to really uh, you know I guess to get a hold of and uh, get a lot of experience with so Hopefully uh, in the future here, I'll be able to test this uh, on a larger scale within my organization and uh, kind of see what they think. And that's pretty much just a simple gist of this game. Again, this is the, the, the buzz in uh, option that they just added, the beta version, and I'm sure they're going to be adding a lot more in the future. If you enjoyed this review, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, you can't win if you don't play.